See, there are 12 question types and I'll tell you the sequence in which we are going to go about it. But before we discuss about these question types, let's understand one thing. That it is literally very difficult to answer 40 questions in 60 minutes or you can say 2800 words to read 2800 words in 60 minutes. It is difficult to read all those 2800 words and then answer 40 questions in 60 minutes. So it is suggested that there are two skills that we need to follow in, in order to answer these questions. One is known as skim, the other is known as scan. We need to skim or scan. Okay. What is scanning? Scanning means taking a particular word from a question and searching for that word in the passage. That is called scanning. For example, if I give you a piece of paper okay, with 1000 words on it and I say figure out this word needed. So what you are doing, you are not just you are not reading each and every line, you are just searching where this word is present. This is called scanning to search for a specific information in a passage. And what is skimming? Skimming means to read just few lines in a paragraph in order to get an overview of what the paragraph is about. To get an overview of the paragraph, right? We are not digging into the specific details of the paragraph. Rather, we are focusing on getting an overall picture of what the paragraph is talking about. What is the main idea of the paragraph? Okay, we are not reading in details. So for most of the question types, we will we'll, we'll apply the skill of scanning. Okay, but again, when we go for scanning, what kind, what kind of words should be taken as keywords? Because as I said, most of the information will be in paraphrase form, right? So, what kind of words should be taken as keywords? Proper nouns should be taken as keywords. What do I mean by keywords? The words that we take from the question to search in the in the passage, right? You cannot take words such as, let's say, famous. Can you take this word as your keyword to search in the passage? No, because this can be paraphrased in se several words, right? I can say, I can call it sensation, I can call it uh, popular, okay? There are many other words that we can use instead of calling something famous, right? So, what kind of words should be taken as keywords? Proper nouns. What are proper nouns? In the names of something or such kind of words which cannot be paraphrased. For example, if I tell you, bird. Okay, can bird be paraphrased? Can we call bird as something else? No, if I tell you mouth, can mouth be paraphrased? No, mouth has to be called mouth, right? Or let's say any other thing, if it is a, it, so these are what the name of some species, name of something or a proper noun, proper noun or name of something, okay? So let's say you have something such as Himalaya, which is a proper noun. So such kind of things should be taken as keywords. So the choice of keywords is very, very important, guys. Okay. Such kind of words should be taken as keywords, which cannot be paraphrased.